Adabashiwu, presidential spokesman, has taunted hashtag bring back her boys campaigners to return the money they allegedly collected for the campaign. The campaign followed the abduction of over 300 boys from a secondary school in Kankara, Castina State. Besides some northern groups, Uche Sekundus, national chairman of the People's Democratic Party PDP, also led a protest asking President Muhammadu Buhari to rescue the schoolboys. The schoolboys have been rescued and reunited with their families. In an article titled, Five Takeaways from the Safe Return of 344 Kankara Schoolboys on Sunday, she said why patriotic citizens prayed for the safe return of the students. These merchants were renting crowds and trending suspicious hashtags. There will always be profiteers from other people's misfortune. The lack of patriotism shown by few unnecessary elements in a moment of national distress was crass, shameful and despicable, the presidential aide said. If they are not directly affected by a tragedy or no immediate family member involved, it is fair game for them and time to gloat or even make a few fast bucks. Indeed, emergency activists thought they could use in on these schoolboys and their parents' misfortune devoid of their conscience. Why patriotic Nigerians prayed for the boys' quick return, these merchants of fortune were renting crowds, creating certain suspicious hashtags, opening banks, back accounts for the sole aim of soliciting funds for a cause they thought would linger. What will they do now when the one million t-shirts they have produced? This is hugely shameful. These scavengers should not should now be honorable enough to refund the monies they have so far collected for the now futile campaign to discredit their father land. She would said Buari and the parents of the boys would have been traumatized if a student had died. They had a plan, kept it kept to it and got the job done without firing a single shot. This is important because one casualty, one dead schoolboy could have traumatized President Buhari and parents and their parents, he said. One dead student would have tainted the rescue mission. The president wanted to wanted the boys alive and delivered to their parents as a compassionate father figure. He would have been pained if one life had been lost in the rescue process. Bravo to the Nigeria military and our security agencies for a well-coordinated and professionally executed mission to the president's order reuniting the boys with their parents. Lai Mohamed, Minister of Information and Culture, had also taunted the hashtag bring back our boys campaigners, asking them to go home. <laughs> you can imagine these people there. Eh? God, will, God will deliver all of you. So, all of you, what is happening in Nigeria, you are not part of the whole thing. Now, if the whole place is fine, why is it that uh, the president's wife has not been in the country for God knows when? What are you all looking for abro in a, 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 abroad? In all those places you go to, the Dubai, the UK, you all go to, what do you go, guys go there to do? The woman has not debunked the narrative out there that uh, she left Asso Rock because of insecurity. So, who are you guys deceiving? And rest... Um, um yesterday or so just a few hours or the second day after the so-called uh, rescue or no rescue the so-called bokoram they adopted another 35 or 38 passengers what have you to say about that the other time that was two weeks ago we saw a video being posted by this so-called bokoram they uh, abducted some soldiers we didn't hear anything they would just go mute they would go and keep quiet they will go and keep quiet. With all of these things, now you are telling them to go back home, to do this, to do that. Everything will still be made open. All of you, whether some people are behind the the campaign, whether you guys stage manage the whole thing, everything will be made known. All of you, all of you, you are you are giving this country a bad name and you are putting a lot of people into suffering. You are coming out to say what? Even the rest we are talking about, everything will still be made open. Everything will be exposed in no distant time. You see, Gabashew, the same Gabashew that was talking what he didn't understand, lying to the Nigerian people, now apologizing. You are apologizing because you have goofed. 
you said you got your message or your information based on a, a child that uh, came back to tell us that uh, uh, how many people were do this, how many people were abducted, how many people were not abducted. Now you goofed. Now you want to save yourself from that shame now to divert attention. All of you are the same. That is just the way I see it. Well, um, Gabashi will first return the one he kept back. Thief, not thief. Look at the man that said only one, only ten boys. Who are you people deceiving? We stage play. The Jezebel that carried placards today were paid by Gaba Shew. The boys were rescued in a military operation or were released after Miyeti Allah and Bono governor negotiated with the terrorists on behalf of Buari. I don't understand. They are just contradicting, contradicting themselves. They are contradicting themselves. In 2013, you joined the Bring Back Our Guest campaign, sir. Garuba, how much did they pay you then? Oh, Coco, you see? <laughs> I, I don't understand. These people, they think that uh, a lot of people are just so gullible. The people, they give uh, all those uh, little, little things to say whatever they want to say or to just come out and be clean to carry a placard or you want because you feel that you are the spokesperson, you can say whatever you want to say. Thank God that everybody can speak. You speak in your own capacity. Other people will still speak in their own capacity. You can imagine. Uh, during the time of a uh, bring back our guests, did you not carry placard? So what happened then? So you guys know how it rules. You know how you play all this game. So now thief they cap, catch thief. Dog they eat dog. So that is just the way it is because for you to have known that they did this, they did that. That means that is what you guys have been doing. What comes around, what goes around, comes around. In 2013 that he joined them. Sir, they are useless on patriotic. They will never succeed in their devilish plans. But somebody is asking that Shehu, Gaba Shehu too, he, he protested. Bring back our guests. How much was he paid? How much was he paid? That is the question. And somebody is asking another question. According to the report, according to what you guys, uh, the government of uh, Castina State, telling us that uh, it was the Mieti Allah that uh, negotiated the whole thing. Even Zafara, state governor, said the same thing. Uh, they are part of this. So how come the military? <coughs> uh, how uh, what is what was not the involvement of the military in the first place? If you are telling us to believe all this story that you are telling us, how do you expect us to to believe that? You came out in the first place to tell us it was a uh, ten children that uh, were adopted. At the end of the day, when the whole thing now came up, because that is how they have been contradicting themselves. The Casino State government came out and said no, 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 three hundred and something. Even the army came out and said 300 and something before Gaba had to come out to now say yes and he apologized that it was based on the information you that you are supposed to get first hand information not even from a, a school boy and you said you guys always know what is happening it's unfortunate it's unfortunate all of you you are the same and those who are protesting or whatever because it is you that will know whether they collected money or they printed one million shares or not so guys, let's hear your opinion, leave your comment below and let's have your take.